Okay, so we're checking out the Sony ZV E10. This is a nice little camera, and I've got it set up here. That is not the kit lens, just as a quick disclaimer. That is a, another lens, which I'll do a video on a little bit later on. The kit lens is not a bad lens, but it is not what I needed. It's a 16 to 50 millimeter. And just keep in mind that this is a crop sensor camera. So, you know, take your millimeter distance, your focal distance and multiply that by one and a half. And that gives you your actual, um, your actual throw on the camera. So this right now is currently set up, so I'm not gonna fidget with it too much. It is lightweight. I did go out and buy some accessories for it, so it does look a little bit different than what's shown on the box. Um, now, I will say that adding the rig that I have on here did provide it a little bit more weight, gave it a lot better grip on here. Um, so don't don't look at the, the grip or the, the cage that's around it or this fuzzy thing or the level, but I just wanna give you an overview real quick for this particular camera because this camera is awesome. It's a great little vlogging camera. You can set it up on a selfie stick. You can set it up on a rig here for a webcam. You can stream from it live. Um, it's got great little features, peaking, you know, all the things you would expect from an actual video camera, but you can do stills with this as well. And uh, it's, been, it's been a really good little camera. I like it. Um, I'm actually considering possibly getting another one to use as a travel camera so that I could just leave this one permanently installed here without having to remove it. But uh, yeah, very nice little rig. Um, seriously, check it out. I will try and get some more video of me using this camera out in the field and, and things of that nature um, to, to put onto the channel at a later date. But right now it is set up for a, another channel that I'm currently working on. That is a streaming channel uh, I have not yet decided if that's going to be advertised or not, so bear with me. But yeah, it's a nice little rig. I'm trying to get you some shots of the actual camera itself instead of the rigging. But the ergonomics of it are pretty good. The button placement's pretty good. It's very, very um, easy to use. The flip screen monitor here is great. It's a little small, but it's a small camera, so you get what you, uh, what you get. I like it. Very cool. Now I can put some specs up, but honestly, if you're looking for a camera and you're watching this video, you already have an idea of what, what to expect. It is a Sony camera. The good thing about this is that you don't have to pay for a firmware upgrade to get HLG or, you know, S log recording profiles like you do with Canon and all them other, you know, Ooh, hoity-toity type stuff. Um, I actually like the color profile of this as just a standard. So, uh, yeah, this is a great little camera. You can buy these things um, new if you're lucky enough to find them. Sony, I believe, had, I don't want to say disconnected, but had some chip issues, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So... Try and find one of these used. It'll knock a couple hundred bucks off. I think I picked this one up um, on Amazon, but it it was I would say maybe a hundred dollars off the original price, and it was barely even used. I mean, it was barely even used. It was perfect condition. So check it out. Uh, if you have questions about it, please hit me up, and I can give you some more details. But I just wanted to do a quick little update on the gear. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, there it is. Used. It was in great condition. All right. Stay tuned. We'll get into some more, more of the nitty-gritty as far as the uh, accessories and stuff for this. All right. Stay tuned. 